Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the F-22 Raptor and many of you have asked me what the stealth capabilities are on the new and updated Raptor and I figured we could do a little mission here today to test out the new stealth in the F-22. So today we're going to be engaging a Rafale in a BVR fight and there's S-300s, there's ground early warning radar, there's AWACS. I've basically given them every advantage including an S-300 sight. So while I engage this Rafale, I'm probably going to be shot out by the S-300. Um, and you know, it's a good test for the stealth capabilities of the F-22. And you know, we'll go over it in TAC view and uh, see what really happened. Um, here we go, we got the Rafale locked up here, and he's fairly close. I'm just going to see how close he can get before he shoots at me with his Meteor missiles, because um, that's the test anyway. We want to know at what range he can see us, and um, you know, once he fires, I'm going to kill him, and once I kill him, we'll see how effective his missiles are at tracking me once they've been fired. And, uh, you know, go from there. Uh, the whole time that that's happening, I'm going to be dodging S-300s. So that'll be fun. Add a little bit of pucker factor, I guess. And uh, there he is. Way off in the distance there. Little black speck. I don't know if you saw that. But uh, he's out there. And we're about 23 miles, so we'll go ahead and Fox 3. And I know I said I was going to wait until he fired a meteor missile at me, but I feel like if you can't see me by 20 miles, I mean, I have a right to kill you. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I don't have to let you come to the merge. Um, so you can see this Rafale over here now defending very hard. I'm not going to spam him with missiles. We're going to see if he can defend that AMRAM and then if he, you know, can get close enough for the merge. Um, I'm still completely nose hot on him, so I'm actually doing the closing of the of the distance. And it looks like he might survive that AMRAM launch. He's doing a pretty decent job defending it. Alright, so I'm being spiked now by that S-300 sight. I don't know if you can hear the notification. Missile in the air. I got a Meteor missile in the air. It's tracking. And it went stupid. And I'm pretty sure I hit the Rafale with my second Fox 3. Here he is now smoking, yet we can see the missile impact. We'll go ahead and kill him. There is an S-300 sight that has fired at me and is tracking at this time and splash the Rafale. I'm gonna go ahead and defend the S-300 site now. You can see missile trails off in the distance there. Multiple launches it looks like. One detonation, two detonation. Those missiles are not tracking me. Um, well it looks like the site can see me but you know after a certain amount of time it, it does lose track and the missiles go stupid which is why they self detonate in the air like that. Um, continue to defend that S-300 site just gonna hang out down here just to prove that those new launches aren't gonna hit me 
And you can see the smoke from the Rafale in the city there. It looks like it fell on a big building. That's not good. And uh, once I've defended this S300 site, we're going to go get the AWACS. Because if it flies, it dies. guys super quick tag fee review here we got the rafale we got f22 over here you can see the engagement ring of the s300 and uh, we're entering it now we got the AWACS and early warning radar over here s300 over here and you can see here my first missile launch at i think it was about 23 miles and we'll let that play out and so there's the defending Rafale. He does crank pretty hard, tries to, you know, really pull around to get that missile to go stupid. And it does. Um, kind of weird how, you know, this AIM-120 kind of goes pretty stupid right there. Uh, but it is pretty much out of energy, so, you know, we'll give it to him. And so this Rafale ends up recommitting here. And at six miles, he seems to finally be able to see the F-22. And he shoots his Meteor missile. Um... Now, I fire a Fox 3 as well, start defending that Meteor missile, and you can see that missile actually comes really, really close to hitting me, and it's coming in fast too, that's the other problem, like this thing's coming in right now, Mach 3 here, and climbing, it's Mach 3.1 now, 3.8, 3.1, like, that missile's gaining energy, <laughs> and, uh, I think I wouldn't say that it like I notched it I clearly did not notch it um, I thought in the video for a second I may have uh, like the way it went stupid but I clearly did not and it looks like the stealth capability of the f-22 is actually such that when you drop the chaff the missile I don't know goes for the chaff it seems like a more probable target than whatever the f-22 is showing up as and uh, that's why I think the missile bites off on chaff there uh, in the last second. And, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six chaff, and it, it'll go away. Um, and that, that's a dangerous missile, that meteor missile there. And my Fox 3 hits uh, the Rafale, and then I recommit. Even though TACFU says he's dead, I give him a last one just to make sure he's dead. Uh, we had the two S300 missiles also could not see me. And now you could argue that I was in a notch position against the S300, but um, regardless, they did not hit. They fire two more here. It seems like the S300 actually can see you at about 13 to 15 miles. Uh, so don't think you're, you know, invulnerable to the S300. I know that one of the things Grinelli said was that he wanted the F22 to be playable. Um, he doesn't want it to be a meta breaker where you can just, you know, steamroll everything in front of you. It still should be a little bit fun, a little bit challenging. Um, and, you know, destroying everything in front of you is not necessarily, in my opinion, fun. So that's why you can see things like, you know, this Rafale can see you at. I think, in reality, the maximum range they can see you is about 15 miles. And it seems like that's the same for the S300 site. Um, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles, I think they can see and track you. So, um, all right. Well, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.